Hello guys, and welcome to episode 9 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign, playing as the Sisters of Twilight, leading the Heralds of Ariel and the Wood Elves to world domination. Previously, we confederated two factions in one go. We took Togavon, and we also confederated the Bowmen of Orion. So now we have... Bases, bases all over the place. We've got base in Laurelon, we've got the base in the Bowman area, we've got obviously Hathor Lauren, and of course the Witchwood. So things are getting pretty cool. I'm really enjoying this campaign so far. But I don't think there was much else left to do for this turn. Maybe just double check diplomacy because there already seems to be doing stuff to do in the diplomacy which is really cool. The Ancestral Throng. Probably don't want to do anything with them. Champion of the lady, the Empire. Uh, looks like we're all good. I probably sorted that out in the last episode, so that's fine. Don't need to build an outpost unless the outpost is in Nordland. Are we allied with Nordland? I'm pretty sure we are. Yeah. What? Can I build an outpost there? No, that's outpost at Argolon. Uh, I want to put an outpost into the Nordland settlements if I can, because it would give me access to Empire artillery eventually. I hope. Anyway, uh, let's end the turn. See what Belagar gets up to, because we have kind of cornered him near the King's Glade. I would imagine. He's just going to underway back. Call of Sigmar. Don't need to watch them. Do need to watch Belagar. Yeah, he underwayed back. We did get the interception, but with the wrong army. So we're going to decline that. All right, let's just speed up the rest of the turn. I think my other army couldn't get the interception because it was in March Dance, actually. A little bit unfortunate. We're down to 151 we factions. To oh, Linus, hello. Uh, you can give me more money. Thank you. Good. So confederation between Reichland and Telebuklan loses us a bit of trade. Constructor for Findol. That's fine. We've got a new encounter. Whispers in the woods. Oh, that gives Orion something to do. That's cool. We'll get to see him in battle. I really like him in battle. He's super strong. Uh, for now, I think we just have the Sister Twilight defend the camp. And we get the public order up we get the casualty replenishment going while we build here we'll of course go for the trapper's den and the guard platform good down to 2022 okay All right Othiodai you're gonna continue your way down to Scarple's lair. Although I am a bit concerned that we need more troops. I don't know how far I can go here. There's no border. I will go here and we'll just recruit a couple more dryads for the front line. It's going to take us down to 976. Okay. Right, I need to world roots over here. How am I going to do this? I mean, what we could do... Maybe just jump... I think if we jump out... We should be in range to get to the settlement. Okay. Well... <laughs> okay, perfect. I mean... <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, this is actually what we wanted to happen anyway. I, there is... Two grudge throwers as a bolt thrower. That's kind of scary. But yeah, this is good. All right, let's jump on in. This is what I wanted to happen anyway. Oh, this is actually going to be a nice map for this. 
Uh, kind of. It's going to be good because it's going to block a lot of their artillery, but it's also going to be kind of annoying because it's going to block my ranged forces quite a bit as well. The only trouble with uh, with these world roots maps is that they have a lot of trees, and whilst we are wood elves, oh, this is an open one. Okay, nice. I was going to say because even though we're wood elves, we can't shoot through trees. Um, where do I want to go? Like, I can vanguard deploy like right up in their face. That could be a good idea, actually. Like, if we just kill... Yeah, I think I might do that. We can just target the artillery immediately and just destroy it. And I don't even have to use my eagles. Right, start the battle. And we just move forwards. And immediately attack the grudge throwers. Good. Let's hit the next one. It should be enough to make them rout. Yeah, good. Bolt throwers will do last. Right, meanwhile, uh, let's move all of these forwards. Good, they completely broke. This is perfect. Okay, let's get rid of the bolt throwers. It's weird that they're just letting me do this. Usually they would have run forwards by now. Maybe it's just because of the underway or world route behavior. Don't know. Oh, here they come. I'll take out the quarrelers. Okay, uh, now we just put these on skirmish and we run away. <laughs> Basically. Need to get away from those <laughs> blasting charges. Right, we'll just charge through with these war dancers. It's fine. Go and get rid of the coroners. Make sure they move way back. Perfect. Gonna want to shoot Belagar. Don't really know what we're gonna target here. Don't really have many good shots. I think best bet might actually be to just move around the side. Just kind of get close. Yes. Straight away. Ever ready. Glade guard. With haste. Swiftly. Right, he is on a horse, Swiftly. so we can just get away from Belagar. We'll just kite him around. Acknowledged. Actually, that's a good point. We should just shoot him. I'm going to chase these down. Our 
bows are yours. Kill them. Right, let's get my eagles over here. Our front line's definitely taken a lot of damage. Let's try and move that away so we can shoot him. Good. Working out very well indeed. Understood. No. Bowman, ready. Straight away. Warriors of Ariel. To the fray. Good. Bowman, ready. Well, that's Belagar defeated. I'm not going to waste more shots there. We'll just have Findor run him down with his horsey. There we go. Lovely. Oh yeah, we do need to get rid of these. There we go. Orders understood. That was really nice. Actually works perfectly because I think we can probably just finish it off with the other army we have nearby. Oh, and we can confederate Argolon. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have another confederation today. <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. The Way Watchers get so many kills because of that armor piercing. Really good. That is a good chunk of money. But I think we'll take the replenishment. My journey begins. The Unforgiven. Your forays against the dwarves have been met with Durthu's approval. Despite the past assistance your kind have given the unrelenting stubborn mountain dwellers, they were never going to see the error of their ways in retaining their petty grudges against Atholoran, so had to be taught a lesson. The Elder Ancient is now open to joining you in a confederation. I will definitely confederate, of course. So we get the extra leadership and melee attack during subterranean battles. That kind of sucks, honestly. The Sword of Antiheroes is nice. And we got the Hunting Hound again. And we got the confederation done. And the mission was successful. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, let's sort out Dirth, who's... <clears throat> Excuse me, Durthu's lands. <laughs> Proud son of he does have a bunch of these glade captains again. I don't know why they spam these so bad. I'm gonna disband them. They cost way too much to keep. I might keep the Waystalker though. The Waystalker is actually good. And this army is not Azra. terrible. Your request is reasonable. Seeking I'm just gonna move him back. Unthinkable. So we can have Durthu chill with him. We'll keep the Branch Wraith. Is this a Shadow Branch Wraith or is it just set that way? Yeah, okay. They have like a mix of Shadow and Life Magic. That's fine. Because I don't believe Durthu has much magic does he oh he does have his uh wild magic okay so maybe we don't actually need the branch wraith in here i could use the branch wraith in a uh, daith or findol's army actually we could do that yeah i still need to work out how i'm dealing with this money though <laughs> Argolon is level 3, but has absolutely zero income buildings. So, 
We'll probably take out pretty much everything. Yeah, we'll take out the Deepwood Camp. We'll take out the Forest Lookout. I don't think we need the Grove of the Horse there. Although, I don't really have one of those. It's just I'm not going to recruit them from here. Like The, the main thing is I'm probably going to upgrade the Tribal Stones here so that we can get the Treeman for Dirthu. I only need these two slots empty so I can get these two buildings. We also have Moonspring Archives. Oh, that would be worth getting. Plus 10% research rate would be good to have early on. And let's get rid of the Eerie. Even though that unlocks Hawk Riders. No, that's fine. We'll just get rid of that because we're going to keep it here anyway. And that way I can get the unique building at least. Okay, uh, let's head over to the sisters. Oh, well, they're just chilling. It's fine. Um, we got Findle leveled up. Got two points. We'll do bolts of the forest and we'll get the site beyond site. I need to make sure that he's actually standing amongst the range forces to make use of that. It's not just like army wide bonus. Uh, for Orion, I really want to give him his regiments of renown, but <laughs> the trouble is we're going to go bankrupt. I could get rid of Dace's army now, to be honest. I don't think I need it anymore. Like, the army got completely destroyed for Balagar. Bindol. I think what we can do. Maybe I just merge them and then hand over the, the war dancers. What do you need? Maybe. Highborn. I need to do something. I don't really want to get rid of many of these units. Like maybe the Glade Riders I don't need. I'm not a big fan of Glade Riders. Probably don't need another eagle. Lord of the get rid of the war dancers. Definitely keep the Treeman and the Treekin here. Let's get rid of those. Just going to merge these. And we'll get rid of this guy for now. Let me just uh, get his stuff off him. Alright, that helps a lot actually. Yeah, Dirthu's army could really be better. <laughs> we should get some Dryads. I'm probably going to boot the Deepwood Scouts maybe as well. Because I think they cost... Do they cost more in his army? Uh, they're actually not that bad on upkeep. We'll keep them for now. The other thing is I can upgrade these... Oh, that's cool. I don't remember that. Actually, no, we, we can't do that this turn. All right, we will just leave it at 5,070. I'm going to jump into my diplomacy. Uh, let's see what else we can do. I'm here. Valiant Lord. That's a lot of trade agreements. All right, when give me your money. So. So, right, Clint. Give me your money. That is fine. Friends of the Empire. Give me more money. Thank you. By the Heldenhammer. And we'll of course do Minister Access here as well. Because we want to get that attitude value up. It is going up really fast. Protector of the realm. Champion of the Dark Okay. And the Fae Enchantress, is she dead? No, she's very weak. I think she defended against the... Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks like she defeated uh, Skaven. But then Morgo's chilling nearby, so Morgo will probably finish her off. Alright, let's get Orion to do this forest encounter. And we'll get the 
abundant growth going. Although, probably don't want to do that, right? The elves of Lorelon frequently trade with humans in Midland. Some of these traders have attempted to defraud the elves. The courts of men are unwilling to help. Maybe violence could solve the problem. However, I mean, if we do unhappy tree spirits, we get minus 10 growth in all provinces, minus 5 control, and minus 10 leadership for dryads, tree and treatment. I think that's fine. We will spare them. And then we get the extra income from trade tariffs. Nice. Thought that was going to be a battle, but never mind. Alright, let's go back into friendly territory. And... I mean, maybe what we can do... Is just start raiding here. That seems like a good idea. Just get a bit of extra income as well. Uh, Widrioth can definitely get those two buildings done. It is almost tempting to upgrade that, but not yet. I do need to upgrade that as well, but yeah, we don't have the money to do it this turn. Oh, well, the Witchwood's level 4. That's good. Do I need a spell singer here? No, I don't. I might do it in the future, though. I think the best thing to get in this slot is probably an Astro Forge, but I, sh I might not need it at the moment. I feel like I don't really need it yet. I think we'll just leave those slots. I could upgrade these instead, actually. Get some more money. Yeah, we'll do that building first. We do have an outpost available in Nordland. I do actually want to do this. So we'll cancel that so we still have enough money. We can also do one in Carcosson. Oh, that would be cool. Maybe not this turn. We do it next turn when we actually have the money. Okay. As for offices, I'm pretty sure we can hand out some offices, right? We've got the Glamour Weaver of Loic. And we've got Beast Binder of Kurnos. The Beast Binder of Kurnos would be nice for like a mage. Uh, Glamour Weaver of Loic. That gives Stork for War Dancers and Blade Singers. I think we could give that we could give that to Findor actually. Yeah, we give that to Findor. Okay, cool. And that is it. Let's move on to the next turn. Don't think there's anything I need to worry about. I'm just kind of curious if Morga kills Carcassonne. It'd be kind of annoying if they do because. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to put the outpost there. With regret, I must declare. Okay, they've broken their non-aggression back. That's fine. I mean, they're miles away now. Your threat must be and I bet he wants a peace treaty. Oh, wait, we're not even at war. Okay, he's declaring war on me. That's fine. Isn't he, like, really weak right now? Weird. I could have sworn we were already at war with him. I guess not. Maybe it's because I thought of uh... <laughs> They talk so much. Maybe it's because I thought of the vampire counts, but they're coming for me. Okay. That's kind of annoying. Oh, there's also a Cult of Pleasure army nearby. Maybe we'll have to just stay on the defensive with the Theodai. I sacrificed a Mathlan, Great Incantation of Saar, and Lauren on Forest received the Plague. It's kind of annoying. 
And we've got creator for Sister of Twilight. Uh, let me go into diplomacy and we'll do walk world nation. We'll do outposts. And we'll construct an outpost in Castle Carcassonne. Cool. That will make them stronger because they'll get some Wood Elf reinforcements there. Morg is actually coming back for the King's Glade. Glade Lord. Carl, we're in a weird spot right now. I'm going to march over here. Azrae. The King's Glade is Orders. kind of in trouble. The forest has spoken. We're going to jump over here. Okay. And hopefully Daith with the garrison can defend that. I'm not convinced that they can, though. Alright. So are we becoming friends with the Lizardmen there? We are. Becoming friends with them guys as well. That's good. Let's go to quick deals. So, Lacqua is one we want to be friends with, for sure. Oh, we can definitely trade with Ostland. Will come in peace. Oh, they would also like quite a lot of other stuff. We'll just take the trade agreement for now. Who calls? I could also sell them military access. By Sigma's will come in yeah, peace. that's so fine. Lord of Bretonia. Yes. We can do defensive alliances. Everyone's loving us here. It's great. Like defensive alliance with Reichland seems like a good idea. Be at peace, for that is all. Empire's blessings, yes. Well, they would even take a military alliance. Reiki. All right, sure. Indeed. The Empire. Okay. Uh, maybe he just fancies us, you know. <laughs> Uh, we could become friends so, with what? Caron, maybe. Yes. But let's get the military alliance will come in with Nordland. Those who me do military alliance with Carcassonne makes sense. Who calls? And we won't do Ostland yet. All right. Uh, we can sell Able and military access. Only Sigma's God Taken on a Griffith Pact and a trade done. agreement. Bam. Of course. The Empire. <laughs> and Sterling. Okay, Don't we'll do that as well. Only Sigma's <laughs> God Ulrich can judge it worthy or no. Perfect. Indeed. I'm ready. The Ancestral Throng up here. I think they like us because of the Dwarves. Not the Dwarves, the Greenskins. That's so many different agreements. <laughs> like the, the, the diplomacy in this campaign is great. It works so well. I think we're going to have to kill off these guys. But we'll wait another turn and then we'll go next turn. I could maybe come out. At least be like close enough and then we can go in camp. It would be enough anyway. There's gold here so I don't know if we can make use of it. Right, for tracing our Theodai. I think we're going to have to head back. It's a bit annoying, but we need to defend our homeland. Unless I destroy them this turn, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be more here. Oh, it's actually not too bad. Okay, I think I might just wipe out this settlement at least, and then we'll just raise it and run back. Because this is good money if we kill these. So... Let's just jump on in. Actually looks like quite an interesting map.
If we don't deal with this now, then all that's going to happen is the Skaven army will chase Othiodai back up uh, towards our lands again. So we'll be running backwards and forwards all over the place. I think the best idea is just get out on the left side here. Some clean air for our arrows. Uh, let's do it. I'm going to want to use my volleys of Kurnos on the rattling guns because those are the scariest thing I've got to deal with. Alright, took out a few of them. That's good. gonna move my spell singer forwards we'll get down some damage need to make sure I'm shooting the rattling guns and they gotta go otherwise they hurt a lot Good. Let's get my boy over here. Okay, I'm gonna fire the poison wind globber dares, and I'm also gonna fire at the warp fire throwers. Any time today. There you go. Make sure I'm shooting those warp fire throwers. That unit got melted. Literally melted. Damn, they are goners. That is rough. That unit just got deleted. It's gone. They are just gone. <laughs> what? What are these dryads doing? A good amount of damage there. That should make the Skaven save run away. Right, let's get rid of the poison wind. Clobberdears. Gonna move these back so they get better line of sight. Let's go smack the warlord. Gonna drop down the earth blood again, just so that we can keep these dryads healthy. For the eternal realm. A lot of units coming our way. Hit the warp fire throwers, please. Oh, 
for the eternal realms. As you say, that's good. All fire throwers are gone. It's actually pretty crazy right now. <laughs> Keep dropping down magic. another one of these. Let's keep doing damage with the spells. <laughs> Just crazy battle. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Oh my dryads are not having a fun time. That's another unit dead. Wow. Just lost another one. Thing is, all the Odai is actually super strong. He's such a chad. Archers ready! Children of Athel Lauren! Deepwood archers! Moving swiftly! Let's go again with the Flock of Doom. For Awaiting orders. I think I'll have these Attack. run down the night runners. Yeah. Now. Archers ready. The main problem right now is all of the units that are running away are coming back again. But yeah, Othio die on his own is just dealing with a lot of it which is fine we are tireless at speed definitely taken a lot of damage like this isn't ideal because we do need to fight the dark elf army afterwards and Odiodai doesn't have the fastest casualty replenishment rate in the world <laughs> Right, we are gonna keep shooting them for a bit, keep chasing them down and stuff, because obviously we're gonna want to attack the settlement afterwards. I'm not really sure how well these eagles are gonna do, honestly. They're not the best units for chasing down, because they're aerial units. So they go up and down and up and down, up and down, up and down. I mean, most of these are Skaven slaves, so they're not a big deal. The clan rats kind of need to go, though. If I can. Yeah, we're not going to get there in time. We'll just end the battle. It's fine. Hopefully we did enough damage. We definitely took a lot of damage. There was a couple of my units there got, that got completely wiped.
So we lost two units of Glade Guard, which were a decent level as well. We definitely need the replenishment. Thank you very much. Question is, can we take the settlement? If I don't, they'll replenish. So I think we have to go for it. I'm going to grab Deadly Onslaught. And for Delina, we'll do Scouting. Yeah, we'll do Scouting so we can get some magic items. That would be good. At least we did a lot of damage to their like special units, but I think this should be fine because it's going to be a lot less wild than that last game because we're not going to be attacked from like multiple directions. It's going to be very confined. So my play guard should do a good job, and I can just send in a Orthodai guy to tank it all. Yeah. All right. Let's go. So let's just have the Dryads chill for the time being. We'll send Othodai straight in and then all of these can hang out back here and get arrows in a sec. Right, let's have Othodai start marching forwards. Good. We'll go for the chieftain, we can just kill him really fast. As you say. For Apple Bonk. Oh, do we miss? Oh, well, he's gone. <laughs> just like that. Right, who's next? Warriors of Ariel. They all run away from my ranged forces. Children of Athol Lauren, swiftly, straight away, at speed. They <laughs> just keep running. <laughs> Don't want to fight. Gonna drop a flock of deem on those. Get some damage onto the warp fire throwers there. Punches ready! By Cardos! Steady! To the fray! Missiles ready! Bows of Apple Lauren! For Ariel! Now! Okay, let's just speed things up. I'm just going to go walk into the capture point here. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, they're coming in behind me. Oh, I thought they'd be in the settlement. Oops. Uh, that's a little bit awkward. I mean, it's fine. We can pop a uh, an ability or two in here. Well, that just <laughs> deleted them. 
<laughs> completely. That was, uh, that was something. Oh, and the Flocker theme. Just finishing things off. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I will have them fire at the Warlord. That reinforcing army is just gone. He actually managed to get away there. Right, let's just heal up my tree dude. And we'll make sure to head back over there. Let's do it again. Oh, they're really just trying to wipe out my individual units. It's really annoying. Right, these have run out of ammo. But we still have a volley of Kurnos in each. Uh, we'll probably just use one on the land wraps there. And I'm going to use the other one on uh, these Skaven Slaves. Just to break them down sooner than later. Okay. Yeah, I should really just like spread these out to the max. Kill the warlock, actually. And the gr oh, he's a gracer of ruin. Never mind. No, no, shooty, stabby things. Stop him doing his magic. That's what I need to do. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. Use a fireball. Alright, that'll do. And the battle there for a decisive victory. That was actually relatively clean, other than the mistake of completely forgetting about the reinforcements coming in behind me. <laughs> but the Hawk Riders, Volley of Kurnas. <laughs> Ridiculous. So, 2000. 577 experience, a bunch of money. That's what we wanted, and we'll raise it for even more money. Alright, with that done, we're gonna march. Actually, probably not gonna march. We don't need to march. We're actually getting replenishment anyway. We're gonna grab a couple more dryads. And we'll level them up some more. We do actually get armor piercing weapon damage for dryads with that skewering branch ability. We could also do piercing thorns. Let's do skewering branch for now. But yeah, that was really nice. We got a lot of money from that. Our right, next turn, sisters can do their thing. Orion, I might have Orion attack Vestus. Maybe it is tempting. 
I'm just not sure if we could actually beat his army with our army because our army is kind of crap. Like even if I had the stags and the wild riders, I don't think it works because we'd be fighting with walls. If it was like an open field battle, then it would make a difference, but yeah, that's not ideal otherwise. Lord of the Osprey. Oh, we do have scaling. Maybe we should go and deal with scaling, actually. That might be a good shout. I will make it so. Let's head over there. On my way. I go. That's what we're going to do instead. And if Festus comes for us, then Laurelon... I was going to say should be well defended, but it doesn't actually have the guard platform. So we'll get rid of the Haunted Grove so we can build that. Yeah. All right. Well, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, it looks like we'll finally be doing something with Durthu, which is cool. And we'll be looking to deal with Morga as well. I think Morga might just kill Daith, but honestly, I don't really mind at this point. Like, Dace is not that good. But it doesn't really matter if he dies. Um, but Death, who can always come down and help deal with this. Like, if he marches in this direction, then maybe Morgo will get cold feet. That's kind of what I'm hoping. But yeah, anyway, that's it. Uh, yeah, next time we'll use Dirthy a bit. And we'll, of course, start picking off Kalak Norm will be able to take out Kalak Azor. That will destroy Clan Angrand. It should be good fun. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.